Well, good morning and thanks for coming. Uh, this is a, a great day for the Sheriff's Office. We're announcing our second canine unit, um, Razor, R-A-Y-Z-O-R. -R. Razor's name came for an honor of and a remembrance of fallen officer Raymond Thompson, who passed away May 30th, 2002, while he was working here at the Genesee County Jail. Um, Razor's a 14-month-old Shepherd Malinois mixture. He's going to be starting school with his canine handler, Deputy James Stack, on Monday up in Ontario, Canada. And the training will go through the end of June, after which uh, Razor will hit road patrol for the Genesee County Sheriff's Office. You know, we have um, Ray's wife, Renee, here to help uh, celebrate this day and to welcome Razor. And with that, I'll take any questions. What is he going to specialize in? He's going to be trained in tracking and drugs. Drug detection. No bomb, no bomb stepping, no chance. No. Your name is Jennifer Well, I think this is a great honor for Ray, and thank you for remembering him. I know it's been almost 18 years, so it was nice to get a phone call and say that you're going to name this dog after my husband. Thank you very much. I would like to say that we did solicit uh, from Several of the schools throughout the county, the students did provide uh, various names for uh, Razor, uh, or it was uh, Sergeant John Bioko that came up with the name Razor in honor of uh, Ray Thompson. And I'd also like to thank uh, all the people that donated funds so that they made purchase of Razor possible and the addition of Razor possible. Uh, businesses, individuals, students, uh, it was just a phenomenal uh, outpouring of support for their canine unit. I can't thank the people enough. And, uh, again, if it wasn't for their donations, uh, we probably wouldn't be here today with Razor. How much, uh, how much training does he have to do? He'll start his training um, Monday, and he'll go up uh, to towards the end of June. And then uh, after that, will he uh, will he be used in any uh, in any, any situation that's needed, or will, will there be certain? He'll be assigned to road patrol and, and utilized just as we utilize Frankie, the other How How's the relationship been between dog handler and canine? It's new, but he's he's been awesome. We've uh, we're bonding pretty well, and you know um, he's taken to me and my family pretty well so far. So a lot of fun. What do you feel? Uh, he <laughs> right now he's on the carrying a pro plan. <laughs> Uh, which is for you know sport dogs and wellness dogs. So not raw ground beef. No, no, we're not doing we're not doing raw um, <laughs> as of now. Yeah, so things could change in the future though. How about you on doing this job? This is your first time doing this. It is. Yeah, it's a, it's an awesome opportunity. I'm really excited to jump into it, and hopefully, me and him will make a really good team and be able to be a great asset to the department as well. <laughs> What attracted you to pick it on the canine? Um, it's you know it's something I've always wanted to do since I became I got into law enforcement and you know just the, the idea of being like the the front of the the tip of the spear almost is what a lot of people say for a canine that he's always going to be out there in the front going to hot calls going to you know um, high priority things and that's something I've always liked doing and then also having my partner with me all the time um, it'd be awesome to have him in the car with me and always have someone that's happy to see me. <laughs> so, <laughs> no the so you know, I'm, I'm really excited to take this on. How, how long have you had him for? Uh, we're, we're about a week right now. Oh, only a week. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seems to be doing good right now. Yeah, we've been we've been doing really good. We've been spending a lot of time together. Every every chance I get, I don't know, off duty, we've been we've been together. So. Have uh, has he made friends with Frankie yet? He is not Frankie yet. Uh, well. Not not face to face, but uh, hopefully soon. So far? His demeanor is fantastic, which is which is great. So he, he gets along with everyone. He's you know in a room with all those people. He, he did really well. So um, I'm looking forward to the training. It's supposed to be pretty intensive, but definitely looking forward to it. And so um, this is kind of sounds like a dream of yours. It sounds like you've always been wanting to do this. It it is. It's something I wanted to do since I I got into law enforcement, which is you know I. I'm thrilled that the opportunity came across when it did, and 
I think it's going to work out pretty well. Well, this will help to share the load. Uh, you know, there's many times that we get multiple calls for a dog, whether it be for a missing child or a missing elderly person or for a suspect that may have fled. This gives us more to draw from. Uh, and it, it relieves uh, Officer Arian and, and Frankie from having to be available for every call that comes in. So we're just sharing the load. What went into the dog's name was we solicited actually from the schools throughout our county because several of them have made donations towards the canine program. So we wanted to see if the students may be able to come up with a name. We came up with some terrific names. Um, we also solicited internally from our uh, deputies and correction officers, and Sergeant Mayoko uh, happened to send me a, an email recommending Razor, and once I saw that, you know, we knew that was the name we should go with.